Chancellor, it is my honor to present to you Mr. Aaron Fish, innovator, friend of Concordia, and a global authority in the field of lock design. Aaron Fish is a longtime supporter of Concordia and this university's future generations of engineers. In 1999, Mr. Fish donated funds to Concordia to create the Aaron M. Fish Scholarship of Excellence in Mechanical Engineering. In addition to taking a keen interest in meeting with recipients of his scholarship, Mr. Fish has actively sought out Concordia engineering students when looking to hire new talent. Mr. Fish became very involved with the Montreal Institute for Genocide and Human Rights Studies, which is housed at Concordia. His daughter, Aurelia, worked for the Institute for a summer, and Mr. Fish himself hosted an event with Senator Rom Romeo Dallaire to talk about the work of the Institute and to raise funds. A Montreal native, Mr. Fish began his successful business career at the age of nine, working at his father's locksmith shop. He spent his summers traveling with his uncle as he sold locksmith supplies in Ontario and Quebec. Putting those skills to good use, Aaron Fish soon became known as an expert in lock design, working with law enforcement agencies throughout North America. In 1964, he engineered and developed the very first push-button lock for Bell Canada, accomplishing what engineering lock experts in New York and Boston had de then deemed impossible. Mr. Fish's electronic locks were used in the Pentagon, the UN building in New York, and the Industrial Bank of China. In 1965, he started his own business, Unican Security Systems Limited, where he served as chairman and CEO for several decades. Under Mr. Fish's wing, Unican swiftly grew into the largest maker of key blanks and duplicating machines in the world, responsible for a major change in the key making and lock industries in North America, Europe, South America, and Asia. With factories around the world and thousands of employees, by 2001, the company was selling 4.5 million keys per day. After selling Unican to Swiss conglomerate Cava Group, Mr. Fish bought back the company, now called Capital Industries Limited, in 2007 and restored it to profitability. Mr. Fish exemplifies the spirit of giving back to the community. As a founder of the Wally and Aaron Fish Family Foundation, Mr. Fish has been a generous supporter of numerous other causes and charities, including the Jewish Community Foundation of Montreal and the Montreal Children's Hospital. In addition to being a member of Concordia's annual President Circle from 2001 to 2006, in 2010, the Concordia University Alumni Association granted him an honorary life membership award. He also helped establish the Aaron Fish Chair in Mechanical Engineering, Fracture Mechanics, at Ben Gurion University of the Negev, Israel. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honor to present you to you, Mr. Aaron Fish, so that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. I would now like to introduce a good friend of Concordia and a good personal friend, Dr. Aaron Fish.
Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Chairman of the Board of Di Governors, Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, honored platform guests, graduating class, family and friends. Thank you for taking the risk of conferring upon me an honorary doctorate of laws. In essence, it should read honorary doctorate of loxology. Some weeks ago, I had lunch with your vice chancellor and the dean of engineering, at which time I asked, what would you like me to say? And the reply was, just be yourself. Well, here goes. From the age of eight through 17, and for the next 50 years, while building a company, my focus was constantly on locks, keys, security, and law enforcement. When meeting customers, my first question was always, what are we doing wrong? When speaking to shareholders, I always emphasized that my customers were the most important component of our company. The next most important came over 600 factory workers in the city of Montreal. And I will emphasize, with no union. And by virtue of the two working together, the company and all of our shareholders were successful. You now had a company, Elko Unican, which I started when I was 17, 18, at the beginning, with $20 on a bicycle. We sold the company in 2001 for $720 million. We had over 4,000 employees, and I knew almost every one of them on a personal basis, because I would walk the factory floor before I went up to the office. To the, to the graduating class, a heartfelt congratulations. You now have a certificate which will be helpful with your future employment. Welcome to the real world. You have learned a great deal in these past years the challenge is putting your practical knowledge to use. The internet has opened a world of opportunity, but in a cruel way. You are now faced with fierce competition, which I did not have when I was starting out. In fact, we were lucky to have a telephone in the house. Be it mechanical engineering or computer sciences, I suggest you choose a field where you have a strong interest and where you will enjoy working. You want to be passionate about your career and your work. Set a career objective. Forget the initial compensation. The money will come with your success over a period of time. If you enjoy your career, you will be excited about getting to work. Be it day or night. If you can't sleep, that's a good sign. You're thinking creatively. Having grown up in the lock and key industry, I'm tempted to recommend a career in security. 
whether mechanical engineering or computer engineering. The need for locks is never ending. There will always be thieves. Although I sold Ilco Unican in 2001, I'm somewhat back in the manufacturing business. You know, manufacturing creates wealth, but it's also the most exciting career because you're making things. Recently, I helped a young man start up high-end, high-security, handcuffs and leg irons. We now sell handcuffs in North America, but also to Thailand and Saudi Arabia. In terms of computer sciences, the door is wide open to hackers, which is one area of computer security. Look at corporations, schools, and public buildings. They all have moved, and rather quickly, over the last 10 years, to computer security. And by that I mean radio frequency ID cards, fingerprint control, voice recognition, and iris recognition. For those of you who enjoy using your hands and tools, a career in locksmithing should be considered. What we call a locksmithing, the locksmithing industry today has during my lifetime become extremely complex and compartmentalized, almost like medicine. The people that repair and open vaults and safes do little else. Others focus on automobile security. In fact, we used to teach how to steal cars and others focus on commercial and residential applications. Mechanical and computer systems are interwoven and add to that CCTV cameras and recorders. To those of you who play chess, apply your thinking to your career, be it customers or employees. Chess makes you look all around the problem instead of looking at just one side of the pie. It makes you consider many possibilities before you move, and that is good training. Last but not least, a quote from Professor Einstein. If I had known, I would have become a locksmith. To each and every one of you, paying taxes is a privilege. God bless. Dr. Fish, I would like to thank you. You're a man of many keys. You have the key to living a good life, the key to being a leader in business, and a key to great philanthropy and living life to the fullest. We thank you for your remarks and for being with us here today.